the Spurs' fourth quarter surge forces a Game 7 in Denver. San Antonio Charters plan large expansion using federal money. And Bear County contracts with San Antonio to magistrate its inmates. This is your Express Briefing podcast for Friday, April 26th. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts. And get each day's top news and sports headlines delivered to your inbox at expressnews.com slash newsletters. Behind a fourth quarter surge, the San Antonio Spurs have forced a game seven. Needing a win to avoid elimination, Thursday the Spurs broke open a close game during the fourth quarter and cruised to a 120-103 victory against the Denver Nuggets in the AT&T Center. LaMarcus Aldridge dominated with 26 points on 10 of 18 shooting with 10 rebounds and 5 assists, and DeMar DeRozan threw in 25 points, including 18 in the second half on 12 of 16 shooting with 7 assists and 7 rebounds. Now the Spurs head into their first Game 7 since losing to the Los Angeles Clippers in the 2015 first round. San Antonio has faced six Game 7s in the Popovich era, going 3-3, three and three, and have won only one Game 7 on the road in team history, the 2008 Conference Semifinals at New Orleans. With a victory, the Spurs would become only the second number 7 seed to defeat a number 2 seed in the best of 7 era. The first were the 2010 Spurs, who knocked off Dallas in six games. Game 7 kicks off Saturday at 9 p.m. in Denver. Officials at IDEA, San Antonio's largest charter school network, want to have campuses within 10 minutes of every family in the city, and that goal may be reachable in just five years thanks to a $116 million grant from the U.S. Department of Education. IDEA Public Schools received the largest award from a combined $304 million announced this month by the department's Office of Innovation and Improvement, followed by KIPP which is expected to receive $86 million to expand existing schools and open new ones. Both are heavily invested in San Antonio and plan to open schools elsewhere in Texas and in other states. While IDEA wants to use the money to grow from 22 schools locally to 37 by the 2022-23 school year, the expansion of charters in San Antonio has produced an increasingly vocal backlash from leaders of traditional public school districts across the city that face budget challenges and reduce state funding, and in some cases, enrollment declines. Four charter school operators applied to the Texas Education Agency this spring to open new schools in the Bear County area. Applications are still under review for San Antonio Preparatory Charter School, which aims to open on the southeast side, and the Gathering Place, targeting the intersections of Northeast, San Antonio, Northside, and Edgewood ISDs. Plus One Robotics, a San Antonio firm that develops software for automation in warehousing and distribution, is adding jobs and workspace after recently rolling out a new product. The company is moving into a facility at Port San Antonio that's more than twice the size of its previous office at the former Kelly Air Force Base on the city's southwest side and plans to hire around 10 more people this summer, bringing Plus One's workforce to more than 30. Many of the new employees will be based in San Antonio, though some will work at a satellite office in Boulder, Colorado or from home offices. Founded in 2016, Plus One builds software for robots used in logistics. The company's main product uses a 3D camera to help a robot figure out where a package is and where it should go in the warehouse before placing it on a conveyor. And Bear County commissioners have directed staff to negotiate an eight-month contract with the city of San Antonio to consolidate the system for booking inmates into the jail, relying entirely on city magistrates. While the move approved by commissioners to use city judges in person or by remote video is expected to save the county more than $400,000 annually, the plan is already getting pushback from Bear County's 10 criminal district judges, who appoint the magistrates who now handle county inmates. A letter signed by all 10 judges raises concerns that only the district courts have authority to terminate their appointed magistrates. 
Under the action approved Tuesday, a magistration oversight committee composed of city and county representatives will provide recommendations to the commissioner's court on policies and procedures for the city to transfer magistration services to the county annex. Commissioners have asked for an update on the transition in a few months, and the city council is expected to consider the agreement on May 2nd. And that's your daily San Antonio Express briefing for Friday, April 26th. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts.